Welcome guys to the Simple Python Programming Tutorial. In this, we will be creating our own client and a server program. So before going towards that actual program, we have to look about some basics. So now, in this entire thing, we will be talking about two words mostly. One is client and the other is server. So what is actually a server? A server is something which offers you or delivers you a particular service. And a client is someone which requests for that particular service. Now other important thing is the socket. Now what socket is? A socket is generally an endpoint for the connection between the two entities. So here in this case we have client and the server as the two entities and the socket will be act as a bridge between the client and the server. So first client will be get connected towards the socket and that will be the actual server socket and then actually it will be connected towards the server. Now in this some basic protocols will be needed that's TCP. I hope that you will know already that what is TCP. It's a transfer control protocol and we will be using TCP only because it's reliable. So now we have a look how we can implement that in our code. So we need to open a Python terminal. Yep, we're inside. So first process we need to import the socket which is already inside the Python library. Okay. So what we have did here, we have just uh, created the full impl implementation of the socket and uh, if it accepts the two arguments, first is the basic the address family and the second one is the actual protocol. So in this case the address family is AFI init and the actual protocol is the TCP. I'll be just pressing enter. Okay. Now next crucial step is about the binding. So now what binding means, binding is something that we are telling our server that where it should be get connected where it will be delivering its service so it can be done easily by just calling our object by just using the object and then calling the bind function and then inside that we will be declaring something where it need to bind it so so here you can see it requires also two two arguments one is basic the ip and the other is the port which is will be going to connect it so now Okay, so now the next crucial step is all about listening. Now what listening? We are telling the server that uh, it will start listen actually about the connections or the request from the clients. So, but it takes the two arg uh, only one argument. So in this case I am getting uh, writing two here. So now what and why? Well, why actually I have written here two? Uh, means it will be able to handle two concurrently clients. Now with this we can connect actually two clients at the runtime. So just have entered. So now the final step is all about accepting. So it will be the final step when our server actually will be accepting the, accepting the connection from the clients. So now swap dot accept. That's it. So but it returns a tuple. So now, what does that mean? In this, it is returning something. I uh, mean, uh, I have here put the three values. So the first element is the tuple. It's basically a client side socket. Now, what is the client side socket? Whenever a connection is being established or is being going to be established towards the server, a separate client socket is being generated, which tells the server that which actually which client is just being connected so it's just a um, significance that uh, the server will be able to made or distinguish between the two clients and other things are the IP and the port so and another important thing that accept is a blocking statement it means that it will be waiting till the time it has not received any type of connections so I will be just pressing enter and you can see it is still waiting for the connections. Now we can make connections through that by using simple uh, u netcat utility. I will be using something. Yups. So I will be for connecting. You just need the connecting IP and the actual port on which our server is running. 
So you can see here something happens. So if I type client, so yep, we can see that uh, some object has been created at this memory location. It means our server is running or okay. Now I will be typing IP. So it is telling us IP through which it was it was connected and port number. So it is basically the remote port through which the client was connected. Now what if if we wanted to send some sorts of data towards the client you can still see that the client is still waiting for the response from the server so we can do that by just utilizing a client and then the send method and we are here just sending us um, the simple welcome welcome to the python by Python tutorial so it's just a basic one what we are sending towards the client so yes we can send and don't worry about 34 it's just the length of the data what we have actually passed so you can see here we have received successfully uh, the banner what we have sent it welcome to the Python tutorial now what if we wanted to send some data from the client towards the server so for that you just first need to tell the server that you should be able to ready for the connections so I'll be so in this case we will be receiving something so RECV basically it means for receive and the actual buffer size or the just the data what data size actually it re receives only one argument which means for the size of the data now if I send this as it it's working so I have not sent it actually so I will be first entering here so you can see it is also a blocking statement means it is waiting for the time the client will send the data now if you press enter you can see it has received and yeah the same thing what you have sent it so this was all about simple python programming uh, of basic client and the server for more understanding you can do like that i have initialized here a data variable and then i will be using the same thing which i have used over here so i see and then two zero and if I do like this so it will be again there and this uh, first I need to change connections and then again establishing so it is connected yep so you can see that something happens and if I do print data so nothing happens uh, okay but uh, you should be clear with what it has been done already so this was all guys thank you for watching this simple tutorial thank you